At least you've got a little story bender about these Pawa. Yeah. Now, back in the day, the Pawa didn't have shells, mate. They just crawled around like little sea slugs almost. Tangaro, the god of the sea, felt a little bit sorry for these blokes because they had no protection. So what he did is he went and did a deal with his mate, the god of the forest, Tane Mahuta. Okay. And what he said is, mate, I need some, you know, something to protect my precious power with. So he went and gathered, he got the colours from the sunset, got the deep blues of the deep ocean, and he also got the lovely greens of the forest. He pulled these all together, made it into a shell to protect his power. Right. The thing was, the shell was still pretty, too pretty. The other fish were getting jealous of the shell, mate, coming and stealing the shell off him. So he said, right, Mr. Power, your part of the deal is, you've got to keep building on the shell here. Build on the shell, eventually, Ended up with a bit of camo over the top, so it doesn't right. look so pretty. Hence, lovely, beautiful inside, rough as guts on the outside. What we're going to do here, the boys actually showed me a great way to do this. You slip in with your spoon, pry them up a little, get a little knife, cut the rest of the stomach off there. Voila. Voila. A power. You can see why he, um, the old god of the sea gave him a shell, because, mate, he's pretty damn ugly without it. <laughs> Right now what we've done is we've just chilled these down in the freezer. Basically relaxes the muscle. Now you don't need to wash these things, it's all just love on here, nice sea flavours. So we're going to get those straight into a bowl. A few cloves of garlic here. Now, fresh lime, just the juice of one lime in there. So lastly a little bit of black pepper. Some nice dill stalks in there. So give it a little mix up. You want to put a splash of olive oil in there please? Sure, buddy. That's nice, thanks. Okay, now we're going to do a little herb aioli. Four egg yolks here, straight in. Once again, juice of these lovely nice. limes from the bait. A little bit of Dijon mustard. Now we just got to give that a little blend. <laughs> All mixed up. Let me just one small clove of garlic. Some lovely flat leaf parsley. Lovely Another bunch dill. of dill. Nice, big, fat, healthy basil leaves. Gently put your oil in, you should have a nice emulsification. How much oil did you put in, Mark? There's about 200 mils in there, Bender. Just all avocado oil? All avo. Oh, Salt and good. pepper. Okay, mate. Well, that's done. What I'm going to do is make some nice big chunky kumara chips. I boiled them in hot salted water till maybe, say, half an hour, just until they're soft on the outside. They should be still a little bit firm on the inside. Cut some big booty wedges. Some big booty wedges. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, look, look at that. that. There's a lot of sugar and a lot of starch in these things. They're going to get quite dark. Oh, you know? right? So okay. I want these quite dark on the outside okay, bender. Cool, don't, be, don't be shy. Now I'm going to crack on with the par while the bender does that. So we've got some flour here. I'm just going to season that up with a little bit of salt and pepper. Parwas straight into the flour. Just removing any excess garlic. A little bit of herbs, fine. A little bit of olive oil. Parwas straight into the hot pan. Oh, look at those, Bender. Quite quick, they're probably going to take two minutes in here. A minute on each side, I'd say. A little bit of seasoning. A little bit more lime. Right, they're ready, Bender. Sensational. So you see the nice golden colour there that the flowers brought out? Whoa. So you've cooked our par with you? I have. Yeah. Get your laughing gear around there. All right. There we go. Mmm. Soft and tender, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you need to brought another dozen. <laughs> <laughs>